Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We're catching up with uh, Alice Campbell again as she is uh, slowly sliding at 0.1 meters per second across the surface of the moon in her capsized capsule. Um, she's been here for several hours now trying to figure out uh, that we can't really write her spacecraft, unfortunately. Uh, let's retract that ladder. She also did forget, however, to collect the science. Whoa, okay. That wasn't just me, right? Like, y'all saw that too? I'm not just... Wow. That was crazy. <laughs> Alright, Alice, can you stop the sliding? Maybe, maybe not. Alright, uh, collect that data, remove. Alright. So this is the other thing that gets me. Let's check this sh out. If you use her thruster pack right here, she doesn't go anywhere. If you jump, she can in fact continue to gain altitude. Grab. Board. Alright. I do have an idea, though. For the meantime, we're going to retract these panels. How much electric charge do we have left? Okay, good. That has caused us to roll. Okay. Well, that at least gives the appearance that uh, we landed the way we were supposed to. Now, <laughs> let's uh, see if Yes, yes. Alright, let's set it up right on the engine bell. Okay, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. That's good, that's good. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> this, this is going to work. This is going to work so much better. Oh, thank goodness. Alright. Well, that's all of our sciencey stuff. Our total delta V, we won't know because we have to unlock our fuel tanks. Unlock, 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 unlock. It's 2818. That is perfect. Uh, we can certainly... We have enough to launch and get to our orbit. There's our target. Mech Jeb. Uh... I guess we want ascent guidance, right? Uh, orbital altitude, yeah. This is honestly the first time I've looked at this in a long time. Launch to rendezvous. 14 minutes, 9 seconds. I guess. I guess I would rather do this on my own. It's just nice to know the timing. So I'm also going to bring up a rendezvous planner. Alright. So, uh, y'all get to witness my first ever uh, launch to rendezvous in RSS ever. Never even attempted it before, because it took me years, literally, to learn it in stock KSP. So this is going to be interesting. It looks like in 13 minutes he's going to be right on top of us. Let's take a quick save, in case I really screw this up. No quick save? There it is, quick saving. Okay. I don't, yeah, I don't like this. Two minutes, go away. Alright, and he is flying north, northeast to us. So, alright, that will engage our engine. I guess I would like to activate first. Alright, engines active and ready to go. We'll use those to get up. And three, 
two, one. Oh god, staging mode, come on! Alright, we're going. Just watch that relative inclination. I'm going to turn off the hydrazine. Coming up on shutdown. Shut down. 114 kilometers altitude. All right. 1315 left in the tank. Should not be a problem. All right. We can make nodes again. Add maneuver. Actually, you know what? Switch to. This has a probe core and automated controls and a lot more fuel. And whatever fuel on it that we. If we can dock with the pod sooner, we can take its fuel. Which I don't really feel is being all that cheaty, seeing as that's exactly what that uh, docking port is supposed to do. Anyway, I've sped the entire uh, rendezvous process up in post because it was literally like 45 minutes of me just squabbling around with nodes and trying to get everything figured out and nobody wants to watch this stuff in real time because it's horrendously boring. So it's uh, a lot of just uh, making small adjustments here, trying to get uh, planes aligned, and then trying to figure out where exactly we can... Uh, just a node to get a good rendezvous it uh, took I forgot how many laps I guess we're on our second lap now or orbit I should say and yeah this would be lap three I guess and this should be the transfer that puts us into a, uh, a good place to nail a rendezvous and then we just have to uh, match speeds once we get there. Uh, anybody who's learned docking in KSP knows exactly how frustrating it can be and it is a long and tedious process and it's hard to get right. Uh, I did it a lot in stock KSP which is a lot like orbiting the moon. Uh, velocities are a little higher around Kerbin than uh, our moon but um, once you get the concept down it's not easy, it's never easy, but it's doable, it just takes forever, and I surely wasn't going to make you guys watch any of this in real time. So now that I've got them within a good docking distance, I switch back to the uh, ascent module and try to go through the last little bits of getting things lined up. Of course, this is always where things get uh, interesting, a little colorful maybe, and... <laughs> 
certainly very stressful because it's so close yet everything is still just so entirely far away uh, I spent most of this doing it in silence anyway because I needed to concentrate and it's impossible for me to talk while doing something this intensive which is probably why I screwed up the landing to begin with but uh, we're coming up on the last couple of seconds here of docking so I'm just gonna go ahead and let the rest of this play through in real time and see if you can't feel my frustration. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Our CS system's off. Hard dock confirmed. Holy crap. And Alice Campbell is still alive. I have to say, that was horrifying and heart-wrenching all at the same time and since we've got a fuel transfer mechanism we're gonna go ahead and use it because good god oh oy vey in 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 out 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 Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Uh, out, out, out. We'll take as much of these uh, fuel supplies, resources, and things that we can. That's waste and waste water. So we can uh, out, out. We can get rid of... We're just going to fill it up with uh, our poop bags. And it takes a long time to pump water around. That's crazy. And that's that. We, uh... <laughs> we're gonna do it. We're gonna go home. Alice is going to come back to us. And that is absolutely amazing and wonderful. And all of these lovely things... Sorry, I just want to consolidate things into a single canister. Because for ease of whatever. Okay. Food, water, and HTP we don't have any more room for. Or do we? No, because that top tank... Our top life support canister here is still locked. That's our emergency reserves. Everything else is done. All right. Next episode, Alice comes home. So uh, I forgot entirely to do our beauty shot because I was so incredibly distracted with absolutely everything. But there it is. There's our ascent module docked with the command pod. And Alice will be returning safely. You know what? Let's just do that now. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a dick about it. But, uh, take data. Alright, what did we get? Oh, uh, well. I know there's a surface sample, an EVA sample, and the last, uh... Uh... Damn it. <laughs> that thing that was on the bottom of the... Lunar Lander, the biological sample. That's what it's called. Biological sample. F grab. B to the board. And that's going to do it for us today, guys. For serious this time. Now that Alice is back inside, everything is good. And the fuel has been transferred. And we're going to go home and it's going to be amazing. And I'm super excited about all of it. So thanks for hanging out and enduring the stress of orbital rendezvous with me. I do appreciate it. I will see you all next time. Until then, see you later.